Okay, it looks like the seal of Binance and Safemoon here are kind of having a little bit of drama. Safemoon wants to get listed on Binance and because of that, they're kind of provoking, just like poking at Binance here. So it's easy actually to see of Binance. So we're going to see what just happened here. Also, we have some Safemoon fun here that we're going to basically destroy in this video. And of course, we're going to do some price analysis here for the queen because it looks like we are kind of going down here. So we have to find the reason what just happened here. So if you are a safe phone holder or plan to invest into this coin, then we need to watch the entire video to understand what just happened here to this coin and what will happen to this coin in the future. But before we begin guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Right now we're at 26,000 subscribers, we're so close to the 27,000 number. It means so much to me if you can reach this number, so let's go all together to the moon. Without you guys, this channel just wouldn't even exist. Thank you so much for watching all of my videos. So here we are in Comrade Cap, let's go what's been happening to this coin for the last couple of hours the last couple of days as you can see here the market cap right now for safe one is 1.7 billion dollars as you can see they go down by seven percent which is a lot we were at we were at two billion at one point now we're going underneath that and that's not really good to see the volume did increase by 20 percent almost here but that's like a selling volume so this is not good in the end but still if you do have the tokenomics you're still getting more coins but like i said see the market cap going down this much is just not good to see we have 57,000 more watches than before and if you do want to buy the coin you can check it out on all of these different exchanges here so that's pretty cool to see but do remember not all the exchanges here have the tokenomics oh yeah look at this tags we are a meme coin plus binance fire chain there you go so we're a meme <laughs> safe one is still a meme and that's the biggest problem we have to get rid of this meme tag we need the case uses we need the wallet the exchange the hard wallet the blockchain more bridges everything we're gonna need a lot more things until that happens we're still gonna be considered as a huge meme token and that's the only thing we're ever going to be so we have to improve we have to change uh, how people view safe moon being a meme coin is okay at the start but in the long term is not that good because meme coins just don't have case uses but we're becoming from a meme coin to super useful coin in the future so there you go i want to go here to the chart this is what's been happening i did warn you guys that something like this could happen here to the coin so we are getting to the end of my giant triangle here and as you can see every single time we got rejected here we got rejected here and now we got rejected here this level and what happened is that we basically did go down here so this is how much we did go down basically from if we do measure from here somewhere to this level right over here now we did have a nice bump i'm gonna show you guys so it was 12 percent down but we did have like i said right now a nice bump so we're all the way back to here looks like people are buying the coin which is really good but like i said in the end we still did dump all the way to here which was pretty bad it was like 12 percent decrease so seeing this pump now it's pretty okay it's pretty nice to see now as you can see here we have the ma's we have the blue and the red the 20 and the 55 uh, the 20 and the 55 did cross here this is a bearish cross which, which is just not good we needed to stay in this bullish cross we did have a bullish cross here and i thought that it was a good chance because of this bullish cross that we should be able to go up but no we did make the cross but now we cross one more time here but because of this pump there is still a good chance that we are maybe going to uh, make that cross now the biggest problem is I'm not really seeing any trigger. Why should we pump up? So I'm not seeing any good news happening right now as of today. They're going to make the coin just explode. If you do get like new exchanges or something like that, then yes, we will be able to break to the top side of this triangle and maybe go here up a little bit somewhere around like maybe even. Oh, yeah, you can just see that we are still dumping. <laughs> Uh, you can see that we're dumping all the way to here. So I want to explain to you why we're dumping it. I just want to say if we do go break to the top side, what's going to happen here is that we're probably going to reach all the way to this area, maybe even the, to this high. It all depends. If we do reach the high, it's going to be amazing. If we don't, it's going to be a problem. But if we do continue, if we do go down, actually, what's going to happen is that we're going to reach these levels here. So we're first going to reach all the way to the end of the triangle after that we have to find the next level of safety the next level of safety should be right over here in this level so somewhere around here is where we are going to go down and that's just not good if we do measure from where we are right now all the way to here it's going to be another 12 percent decrease here for the coin so that should mean that we're just decreased if we go like i said from 
here too. He, yeah, it's even more now. Here it's like about 20%, 23% decrease, which is a lot, guys. That is a huge number here for Safe Moon. But it all depends, like I said, what's gonna happen to Bitcoin first. So the cause of this like downward downwards trend is Bitcoin. So if we do check out Bitcoin right now, this is what happened. Massive dump. Just a massive dump here. And you can just see all red. Every single coin here right now is red. This is just not good. But all the coins here are in the red zone. All the coins, they go down by at least 5% here. So Bitcoin, they go down by 5%. What just happened here? As you can see, we made a giant head and shoulders. So this here is the left shoulder. This here is the head. And this here is the right shoulder. And you combine all these, see what happens. Every single time you go up like this, you're gonna end up and go down. It could be possible it should go down even more. I don't think so. But even if we do go down even more, it should mean that we are going to reach all the way to here. This is where we have some stabilization. So another, I think it's going to be like 2 to 3%. Yeah, 2%. There you go. Another 2% decrease. So we are losing even more buying power here. So I think selling power is going to win. And I think that Bitcoin will continue to go down even more pretty soon here. So probably reaching this level and hopefully stabilizing again there and the problem is what i'm seeing is that we are again making another funnel here or like another triangle where what's going to happen is that we're basically going to go down right now for bitcoin a little bit more then we're going to have another pump but that pump is going to be all the way to here and stabilization here going down again reaching again this level and just making this giant like graph here in the future already seeing like a giant like Triangle here being formed, which is not good. This is not a good triangle that we need to be forming or at least it's going to take a long time for something like this to end. So if we do continue this kind of trend, you can just see we, are, we even here had the same thing like head and shoulders. So left shoulder here, head is here and this is the right shoulder. After that, the value does go down and then they go down again. Same, same graph left shoulder head right shoulder boom reversal going down now it looks like we are kind of stabilizing here at this level hopefully it does continue to stabilize hopefully it don't go down anymore but we're gonna see that's the biggest problem right now with bitcoin it is making these graphs the next graph should be even lower than this like the the increase here should be even lower and we're gonna make that triangle here a giant triangle here that's been forming and we're gonna see if we do break to the top side, it's gonna be amazing. But if we do break to the downside, then we're gonna, gonna we're gonna just continue to go either to this level or this level. So either to 31k or to like 30k, basically. Uh, hopefully, we break to the top side. Because if we do, we could be able to reach like 38,000. So a lot of things here can can happen. Hopefully, Bitcoin will win in the end. Hopefully, we do not drop below 30k here. Hopefully, good things can happen here to the crypto market right now. We're gonna see. Let's continue. If you go here to the Safe Moon Twitter, so first thing first, says here, Happy Fourth of July from the Safe Moon team. Awesome, just awesome to see here. Pretty wonderful. If you do continue Safe Moon trending, so they might choose to ignore us, but our voices will be heard. So Safe Moon, fifty-seven thousand repeats. So we are Safe Moon. We are family. There you go. That's about it from all the posts I have. These are like the newest posts. But let's go to the Reddit because I want to talk about this. So before we talk about this part here, we're going to talk about it. So CZ here, the CEO of Binance did say, what are we doing uh, poorly on? How should we improve? And then Safe Moon replies, you're saying, not listing Safe Moon. This is how you can improve CZ. By listing Safe Moon, you're going to improve Binance by 10%. <laughs> it's not but it's 10%, but, but 10 times. There you go. So that's, that's what you need to do, CZ. You need to list the coin. <laughs> but if we do continue... I want to talk about this. Another post saying, everyone, uh, every one of us should like it. This would be hilarious. So, CZ said here, I'm not in charge of listing, but Binance should list. Uh, this will get more likes than your own tweet. That says a lot about who you should list. So, he right now has 5,000 likes and Safe has 2,000 likes. So, if I do enter this one here, I want to see what's going to happen here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, 21,000 likes here. 33,000 likes. There you go. <laughs> There you go, Safe Moon just won this one. So, a little bit of drama. It's not really drama, just Safe Moon is poking at CZ here for not listing the coin, and they should list the coin. But I think, still think 
they're waiting for some utility for from safe one here. So they're waiting for the wallet and the exchange and we're gonna see. I believe in the future they will list the coin. Is it important for us to list for us to get listed? Yes. I have to tell you guys, like it's if you get listed to the Binance, you, you, you're just gonna see massive increase for the coin because people will be able to access the coin a lot easier and there's already so many like investors on Binance. So it's gonna be a huge price pump for safe one. Like, but wouldn't you want something like that to happen? Like, like we can survive without it, but it's a lot better if we do have it. So I want to talk about this here at the end of the video saying why safe one isn't a rug pull. So today I received this question in Fudbuster Educational. So question, I noticed a lot of people are mentioning the liquidity pool and saying because the devs have a percentage that they are doing a slow rug pull. Has anyone been seeing that? I'm not really understanding why the team would do a slow rug pull. Not that I think they will hit curious on what the conspiracy is surrounding the pool. So the answer, okay. I thought it may be helpful to share my reasons to this question below as I'm certain many will run into this later. So the answer, they wouldn't. There's absolutely no logic in that. Firstly, all transactions are tracked through Certic via Skynet 24-7. If there was any malicious liquidity movement, it would be immediately detected and the team would be reported. This is something the team will generally submit it to, which a lot of projects would not do. Secondly, there is no logic in choosing to rock pull a few million dollars in liquidity when the product is when the product is projected by many, including the team, to be worth more far more than that. The team has stuck to their guns and mitigated themselves through constant open communication to the community on what they discussed, whether it be safe community questions or outside organizations, so as, as SSB, Certec, Gambia government officials. If their trust isn't gained by now, then those people should just wait further action before deciding to spread FUD because any claim of FUD up to this point is just desperate speculation. The primary FUD still being spread to this day still originates from NSFM's reports titled Flaws with Other Moon Coins. While some aspects of what they discuss in the analysis are true, the risk concludes that the analysis comes to a complete fallacy. So Safe Moon Mark deals with this FUD directly in his liquidity video here. Safe Moon Mark explains liquidity. So there you go, check out Safe Moon Mark's video if you really want a detailed explanation how and why these guys will never ever do a rock pull. So even if there is a slim chance that they are going to do it, basically they will go to jail because you know their names, you know their faces, so people can basically report them and they won't be able to spend their money anywhere. So there you go. If something like that happens, they're liable to the police and liable to go to jail. So why would they ever do something like that? You have big developers working on the safe moon team. Why would those big developers work on the team if they know it's a rock pool? Why would they destroy their own names just because of one coin here? They wouldn't. So why would they work on so many different projects like the micro server? Why, why, would, why would we have a micro server? What's the whole point of having a micro server? Like, why would they even put time into that if they're going to do a rock pull? Why would they go to Gambia if they're going to do a rock pull? They wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't show you anything. But they're showing you everything they can without giving you too many spoilers on what's to the future of the coin here. So. I don't believe safe one is ever, to, ever, ever going to be a rock pull. I believe the safe one is going to be something great in the future because of those tokenomics. Those tokenomics are going to be powerful. And if they somehow do those tokenomics and add them to their exchange, that's going to be insane. I'm just, I think that's going to be something that's going to break the whole crypto market. I think that's something that's going to pull every single investor to go into the safe one because basically it's like staking your coins without staking them but in the end getting more of reflections more coins than you could ever imagine so there you go that's my biggest reason i think how the tokenomics do work and what they want to do in the future is going to be pretty much insane and that this coin should be able to be a huge coin in the future you have to remember I'm, i've been seeing like a coin called the uh, fin fin something that coin is two years old and it's now pumping and now has 1 billion market cap, 1.5 billion market cap. Two years in the working real coin during their own blockchain. So two years for that blockchain. And only it's now increasing to 1.5 billion market cap. SafeMoon, it's just a whole nother story. SafeMoon just did all that in three months. We have almost 2 billion here. We had a lot more before, of course. 
but now we have a huge army. We not, maybe don't have like a huge market cap right now as we had before, but we still have a huge community that's always going to be there for Seifun and that's the most important part here. So in the end guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much for me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.